This is San Lorenzo's SD90. Now this is all about comfortable cruising. It's not a high performance boat, it's a distance boat, it's a comfort boat, it's this kind of thing you come down and spend some serious time aboard because it is gorgeous. Wait until you see the inside of this. It's very Italian, very stylish, but very, very comfortable. And just a physically big boat. I mean, for a 90 footer, look at it. It's just huge. Very, very spectacular. You're going to enjoy this one. I've just had a quick look around. Uh, I'm very keen to get you on board. So we're going to step on via this bathing platform. Now there is a tender garage. So this all opens up at the back. You slide your tender out onto here and that lowers down into the water. So that's basically how you launch your tender. If we step onto here, we'll head up on, in fact, let's go this way. Walk right across the platform and up. A lot of stainless steel detailing and the teak. It's all very San Lorenzo, high quality, just gorgeous. Look at that, beautiful. We will, of course, do the whole tour, look around the outside, we're going to take in the engine rooms and so forth. But we'll start on the interior. We'll have a quick look at this area before we go in. This is the cockpit, of course. Again, look at the way they've done this teak on here. It's just so nicely formed. Absolutely stunning. You've got these doors that open so wide across here. It really links these two areas. It looks like there's a, a, sort of a room or something there. In actual fact, what you've got there is the stairs that come down from the flybridge. We'll come back down that way in a little while. But that's why there is that area there. This, again, when I talk about the styling, the Italian styling, <laughs> would you believe this is the fridge? So if we open that, there we go, that lives in there. And you'll notice as well, they've got the big sliding door there to so get a lot of air and ventilation through here. That's fabulous. This then is the main saloon. You can see what I mean about comfortable living. It's all about relaxing, big, deep, comfy sofas. You might think, well, there's no TV, but actually there is because it lives up here. It's actually built into the ceiling. That whole panel hinges down at the touch of the proverbial button and that's where your television lives. So if you want to watch a movie of an evening, you can do, but when it's away, it is completely away. You wouldn't know it's there. So that's great. Love all these comfortable chairs around the place. Very nice indeed. That way is to the galley and the crew areas. We will of course look at that, but we're going to head this way first of all. And take a stroll up through here. So this is Things like the AV equipment, for example, lives in here. And then you've also got a load of storage for um, whatever you want to store there, obviously. And on this side is the day heads. So if we open that one there, day heads for the main deck. And then from this threshold here, this doorway is all the owner's cabin. It's palatial for a sub hundred foot yacht. This is spectacular. Check this out. So what you've got is a dressing area here. In fact, you can close this off. These slide. So if you want to close this off completely, you can do. You open it up and this is all wardrobes. You can see the hanging rail there. We've got a few cushions and things at the minute. And you've got drawers down there. Obviously, you won't open them all, but you get the idea. Just masses and masses of space. It goes back to what I was saying earlier about this being the kind of boat you come down for you know, a week, a month, a year, live on board, <laughs> whatever you want to do. Love this flooring, the way they've done that. That looks really great. There's yet more storage over on this side. So these open like this. And then there's another doorway. Although we all are already into the owner's cabin, this is separated off. So the doorway here, and this is the actual bedroom area. Very, very nice. You notice the TV's inset slightly. There's panels that come across there. I will explain that a bit more when we go down onto the lower deck because we've got one with the panel in place and one with the panel open like that. There's a dressing table over on this side. Big windows in here as well. Tremendous view out of more San Lorenzo's and, and of Cannes. But you can see the windows run all the way around. It just makes this such a lovely light area. And then if we head on forward again, it drops us down to the ensuite, which as you expect on a boat like this is fairly spectacular. So if we wander down here, your uh, basins are here. You've got more uh, storage space in places like this. So all various accoutrements can live in there, or towels, or whatever you want to put in there, of course. And then what they've done here is split these off so that on this side, you have a very, very nice rainfall shower. And then next to it is the toilet. 
But again, really, so much space, so generous. Everything on this feels so luxurious and generous. It's just brilliant. That is a nice area. Let's press on. Lots to show you on this one. It's a big boat. We'll head back through here. So we're still in the owner's cabin. This is the doorway here. Look at the thickness of these doorways. It's all very San Lorenzo, isn't it? Super high quality. We'll come back here. And this then, we're now back into where the main saloon is. This takes us down to the lower deck. So this is guest cabins. But what they've done here, which is brilliant, is that as you come down here, look at the way it's all forms around here, it's beautiful. You've got this fabulous area down here. Can you imagine how great that would be for kids to come down as a little gaming room perhaps, or just a chill out zone, just a separate space on the boat. That is so nice. But what's brilliant about it is that these here are pocket doors. So you can pull these across and completely close this off. That will turn into a double bed and that becomes another cabin. So it gives you a four cabin layout or three cabins in this amazing area here. It has an ensuite, of course, that's here. So when it is closed off, you've got that area there. And then in here, these just close this area off completely if you want it to be closed off. And these are, again, your toilet on that side. And then if we spin around here, showers in here. But that, I think, is a lovely area. I really like the idea of that. If you're not using all the cabins, and of course, a lot of the time you aren't necessarily cruising with everybody, uh, filling all the cabins, then that just makes a terrific little extra snug. If we come around on this side then, we've got two more cabins. There's one over here. It's got the wardrobes as you come into it, like this, all illuminated, of course. And then that is a very, very nice cabin. I love the finish they've put on here, all sort of fluted and light. Now, that there is a television, and you need a remote control, which they've tucked away so that people don't start fiddling with it. But you push a button, and that panel drops in and down. And I will show you that on the other guest cabin. If we come all the way around, love these little bedside tables, they're great, aren't they? And then, again, you've got this where you can close this off if you want to, or you can have it open that far, and then again, like we saw on the other ones, the loo is on one side, and the shower is on the other. So that is that. Let's come back on round and keep moving on this one because it is such a big boat. We'll end up with a very, very long video if we're not careful. Well, that's a bad thing, I suppose. Let's head over here. So another cabin here. So this, as I say, is giving you two permanent cabins plus that converting area there. So three down here, plus the, uh, the owner's cabin we saw up on the main deck. That's the TV when it's in its non-concealed state. So that panel just lowers down here. You can actually see it just there. That comes up and slots in as we saw it, so it's completely flush. And then again, the ensuite, again with the sliding doors here. And again, with the shower on that side and Lou over there. But yeah, those are nice cabins, aren't they? Beautiful. All right. Loads more to see. We've got deck areas to do as well, don't forget. All right, let's come out here. These have all got big wardrobes, as you'd expect. So there's loads of hanging space and AV equipment in there as well with these cabins. Big mirrors here. We've not waved in a mirror yet. We ought to do that. There we go. Hello, everybody. Back up these steps. So. What we'll do now, I think, is we'll take a turn around here and go and have a quick look at the crew areas. Now, the crew are living on this one, so they've asked me not to show you into their cabins, but we can certainly see what it's all about. Um, this is the galley, first of all. So you've got, obviously, cooking here, um, the sinks. These are wine cooler and loads of storage. Um, and if we come over here, this, of course, is all the refrigeration. So you've got fridge, fridge, freezers down underneath. So masses and masses of space, cold storage. All meal of cooking, all very lovely. But then we come on through here, we've got the steps down. This takes us down to the crew area. Laundry facilities are here as well, as you can see, more meal equipment. They should sponsor alcoholics, shouldn't they? <laughs> I didn't suggest it once. And then we've got a very nice mess area. This is brilliant because it gives them their own little area. And they've got to remember this is a 90-foot boat, but you've also got to remember this is all about volume and long-distance cruising. So that's why you can get quite a lot of more space in and perhaps a more traditional planing boat. And you can see here the control panels for the boats as well. 
Um, so uh, you can access all the various functions from here without going up to the wheelhouse. Now, as I say, we've been asked not to go into the cabins, but there are two cabins, both with twin bunks, and then there are two separate heads down here. So really good crew facilities, and they're dotted in around here. Um, but we're gonna head on up. So what we're gonna do now, instead of going back out into the saloon where we came through, we're gonna head this way. There are some steps up, like they've done this rail here, all illuminated, it's all very discreet. And this, as you probably worked out for yourself, is the pilot house. So we've got the helm seat here, and then of course you've got all the controls across here. So um, engine controls, bow stern, thruster, these displays across here, all the multifunction screens, you can configure those how you want. We've got camera on here at the minute, radar, uh, chart plotter, and so forth. And then autopilot um, is just here. And the instrumentation for the MA en engines is here as well. So that is that area. And then we can step on up from here to the flybridge. And this has got the upper helm position on it. So you can helm the boat right here as well. Of course, it mirrors a lot of that instrumentation that we saw. So you've got the screens here, the throttles, OCD is kicking in. There we go. Um, Bounce down thrusters, big vertical wheel, and a great view out, like so. This, of course, will slide across to close this area off, and you've got loads of seating here so people can sit and enjoy the ride facing forwards, see where they're going. Now, if we head on back, there's a big hard top on here, as you can see. Very helpful today, it's really hot down in the south of France. And then we've got this area here, so huge, great social area, masses of sun lounging across the back. We've got the bimini up at the moment as well, so a bit of extra shade. And then around here is the wet bar for this area. So if you lift that up, there we go, you've got the... There's a name for these, somebody will tell me. <laughs> Can't remember what it is, uh, but it's like a kind of hot plate thing. Um, and then you've got the sink here, of course, and then underneath there, a bit of storage. And then there's a fridge for this area as well. So that is that, let's press on. So we'll loop round here, we'll have a quick look at this at the back. So this is the sunbathing area at the back of the boat. That's a big area, isn't it? You do have to remind yourself that you're on a 90 footer because it just feels huge. Okay, we're gonna come round here. These steps here will lead us back down to the aft deck in that cockpit area where we came on board. Unusual to have a door here, but it means you don't get a draft down through there, ruffling your bouffant. Okay, let's take a stroll around the decks. In fact, we will go this way. Real super yacht feature with these big overhangs and these sections here. That just feels really nice as you walk on up through. That's that big opening section again next to the saloon area. And then we can carry right on up through here. And then these steps take us up to the foredeck. So we're over that owner's cabin now. That's why it's so big, because it comes the full beam of the boat, you see. And you've got more sunbathing up here. You've got concealed anchor handling kit is all up there. And then these steps take you up to even more sunbathing up there. So they're using every area on this one. And this is can. Look at beautiful can. First thing in the morning. Fantastic. OK, let's press on a little bit further. And we've done a complete 360. We'll press on down this way. This is the new SP110 from San Lorenzo. Hoping to get a video of that as well. That's my next mission with a bit of luck, but the show's just open, so we'll have to see how we get on. This feels really deep as you walk around here. You feel really very much in the boat. I mean, it is, you know, right up to chest height, really. And if you come right on back down here, we will find access to the engine space. So if we head on down here, Here we go, look at this. Very, very nice indeed. Now these engines are on V-drives, so you can see they're actually canted forward, and that's the front of the boat, rather than we normally see them this way. And what that means is that the drive comes out this end of the engine, and you can see it coming out here, goes through a V-box and comes back down here. What that means is 
that the shafts are in the normal place, but the engines, instead of being right up there, are back here. And that means that you get a lot more space for cabin, and that's how we get so much space in this boat for 90 footer. I think the degree it is pretty impressive. Now these engines are a pair of MANs. They are 800 horsepower each. And as I mentioned earlier, this is a displacement style boat. It's not about high performance. So your top speed on this is about 14, 14 and a half knots, and she cruises at 12. But the big news is when you drop the speed back to eight knots, because you're getting over 2,000 miles of range then. It's quite impressive. It's a proper long distance boat. And this is what I come back to when I said earlier, it's the sort of thing you come down to and stay on for a long period of time and spend some serious time doing some serious cruising. This is what this boat's all about. San Lorenzo do faster boats as well if you want them. They do long range boats like this one. They do a huge, huge range. So they can really cater for whatever it is, your boating style and what you want to accomplish. We've got generators down here. You can see there's one over on that side. Uh, there's another one just here. We've got the uh, switch panel for the engines across there. We've got electronics across the bulkhead just there. What else have we got down here? I saw a water maker somewhere. Ah, oh, there it is. That's that fella down there. So it can make its own fresh water. And then we've got more engineering and plumbing and so forth down underneath here. That's down under the tender garage. We get a nice engine room, that full headroom. This is nice, you've got these to hold on to. Very, very smart indeed. And that is, I think, about the size of that. I think we've covered everything. Let's come back out of here. And I think we will take a wander up to the bow to finish off. Treat you guys to the view again. And there we go. I am going to say massive thanks to San Lorenzo UK. They organised this tour for me. Huge thanks as ever to you guys for watching. Let me know what you think of this one. And we'll catch you on another one of these real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.